Hello YouTube, it's me John Avenger once again. I'm finally refreshed, I'm uh, clean shaven, and I'm doing another uh, review before the month of September is over tomorrow. Uh, it's the last day. It's a, this is a uh, animated movie from DC. Yes, they did an animated movie this year, yeah. Uh, and uh, it was actually good in the theater. I didn't see it in the theater, but I will next year. It's a lot of fun. I know it's not for everyone, winkity wink wink, but this was for me. As a person that just wants a simple story, I want to laugh, I want to cry, I want to feel, I want to feel some emotion, I want to be invested. This invested me a lot more than a lot of Marvel movies in the past like year or so, because the last one I was very in invested in was the the last uh, Spider-Man movie. I did enjoy Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and Thor, but it was missing some things, some key items. But like I said, this movie is good for what it is, and it's for kids. It's 3D. And is the DC League of Super Pets. Yes, I'm going to review this. I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm sorry. This is what I think. My opinion, my thoughts, not reading from a script. No one paid me to say this review. I'm saying this from my heart. It was written by John With Whittington and starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson as the voice of Crypto. He did great. He got me emotional. Alongside Kevin Hart, Kate McKinnon, John Krasinski, blah, 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 blah. It's an animated movie by, by Animal Logic. The story tells of Superman's pet dog, Crypto, and shelter dog Ace the Bat Hound, who work with other animals to save the captured superheroes from Lex Luthor and Lulu. And that's pretty much it, and it's directed by one director. Two writers, not seven, just two. Jared Stern and John Withington. So, they did a good job. They got me emotional. At the end of this movie, I was crying like a bitch. I know you're going to be like, ah, oh, you're so... You're, you're overly sensitive. No, I felt something. I have a dog, so I knew exactly what kind of movie I was getting into. And the dog kind of looks like my dog, Dolly, because he's white. And my, uh, my dog, Dolly, is part white. The film is 105 minutes. It is a little bit long, but it's not two and a half hours. And it's not four hours like the Snyder Cut or anything. It's short and sweet compared to other movies. $90 million, and they made 185 So it was saved because of cinema... National Cinema Day and because people went to go see it. The film got generally positive reviews from critics. Yeah, there's some jokes that don't work. I'm gonna. Be, it's not a flawless movie, Josh. Trust me. And the rest of you that think that this movie is so horrible, that some of the jokes don't work. Some of the toilet humor and the and the dog puns and all that. Yeah, some of them fall flat. But again, kids movie. There's not gonna be f bombs in a PG movie for kids. Uh, yeah, it said the critics praised it for animation. The animation's good. It's not the best one. It's not Luca, but it's better than that Ice Age movie I saw. The humor, yes, it made me laugh. A lot. Sometimes I was laughing louder than my parents and my sister. Hart, yes. Kevin Hart says something really profound in this movie that was better than anything that the CW has done in years. He says that, you know why dogs are man's best friend? Because they love unconditionally. They to do in your movies now, Disney. Stop preaching about feminism and gay stuff and wokeness and freaking agendas that kids don't give a shit about. Just be simple. Dogs love you because of who you are. They don't have take sides. They have no biases. They have no agendas. They just want to be your friend. That's what I got from my from this movie. And that's what I got from having a pet for eight years. So as a pet owner, as someone that takes care of a pup, little puppy like Crypto, I know exactly what I was feeling when I saw this. The action sequences are good, too. The voice acting is mostly solid. There's some actors I didn't like, but that was just me. I know you guys are going to like, oh, the voices don't bother me. It did with me. The Rock is good. Kevin Hart has his moments. He's not screaming like he did in Secret Life of Pets. I like hearing Ben Schwartz as one of the, the guinea pigs. He's cute because he sounds like Sonic, and I love his voice. Thomas Middleditch is fine. Get out of here, Danny. I'm doing a review. John Krasinski is good as Superman. It's a good Superman. He's not frowny like like Jeffrey Cavill. No, he's lighter and he has a smile on his face and he's likable. He's not destroying buildings for you know the entire movie or or crashing into stuff. Uh, Vanessa Bayer was cute as PB, the 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 the, the pot belly pig. Very cute voice. I really liked her. Natasha Leon does the best impression of Joan Rivers. May she rest in peace. In this movie, as the as the turtle, as M Merton McSnurtle, the the the, tur uh, the Flash's turtle that runs fast. Then we get to the ones that did not work. Uh, Kate McKinnon, I didn't care for as a villain. She's snotty, and I don't like her voice. She's trying to sound like a discount, uh, you know, Kristen Wiig. Uh, she's not Karen Gillian, so her looks can't save her, Josh. She's a lesbian. Of course she can't 
do it for me. And she's not funny. There's like one or two moments that I kind of chuckle, but she's not like, uh, oh my god, my gut's hurting. She's just not charming. She's just really flat for me. Diego Luna is chip. Do I have to say anything about this guy? I'm not watching Andor because of him. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, Keanu Reeves is a good Batman. He doesn't say much. He doesn't have a lot of lines like Lego Batman, but like uh, Will Arnett's Lego Batman, but he does deliver with the dark voice. It fits him because he does John Wick, so he's fine. Mark Maron as Lex Luthor was fine. Didn't annoy me. He wasn't a, He wasn't over the top. He, he did what he did. Olivia Wilde, mwah. I still love her, guys. I've never seen Don't Worry Darling in the theater, but that woman is the one of the most beautiful creatures I've ever seen in my life. And Josh, I met her in person, so I can you can you can take that in writing. She, I met her. She was a peach. She signed my my, my cup, and she was a, a, a sweetheart. She had a beautiful smile. She's just absolutely gorgeous. And listening to her voice in this as Lois, it was good to hear of Lois' voice that was completely different. John Early as Barry Allen as the Flash. I liked him. He didn't say much, but it was good to see it, to see someone new play that was not being threatening like Ezra Miller. Uh, Jermaine Clement, he's there as Aquaman. I prefer Jason Momoa. End of story. Uh, Jamila Jamil did not work as Wonder Woman. Gosh, I will take Stana Kadic and Brit and and Gal and freaking what's her face? Uh, uh, you know, um, Rosario Dawson any day. Get out of here, Danny. She can't, she can't act. She was not good in She-Hulk. She wasn't good in Jurassic World, Crank Cretaceous. She's not a voice actress. You should have just gotten Rosario Dawson back or or Gal. Even if it was a cameo, it would have been better. Uh, D David Diggs as Victor Stone, a cyborg. He's fine. I prefer Carrie Payton, but he did fine. And Dashka Polanco as Jessica Cruz. I like they used Jessica Cruz, but I didn't like the design for the character. They made her plump, and she had that lesbian haircut that that was in Brian the Last Dragon. I'm sick of that look. Just please, I like plump girls, but not lesbian haircuts. Just don't 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 do that anymore. Please don't do that. Jessica Cruz has long dark hair. She doesn't have a lesbian haircut. That design just didn't work. Keith David as Dog L. That was funny. That was a funny joke. He's a good voice actor. Um, Alfred Molina and Lena Headey. They were underused. Why were they in this movie? They played jor -El and and, and uh, Lara L, and they're in the movie for like two minutes. I know they're not gonna they're not gonna be as as long as the actors from Superman the movie, but come on, you get two big British actors and they're in the film for less than two minutes. Okay, but whatever. Uh, the the voice cast did fine. The plot is very basic, but it did it did its job. It, it got me invested. And the soundtrack was good, and you know the the the, the atmosphere. You, it has a lot of color. It has two post credit scenes that are worth while, especially the second one. It's a it's a nod to what's coming out in the month of October. I'm not going to say much. And also, I would have liked to see more DC superheroes. Like the Sh Shazam is not here. Uh, who else is not here? Uh, the Atom, or uh, you know, it was just mostly the the, the main Justice League. The core Justice League members, but I would like to see a sequel to this or a TV show on HBO Max. The Rock earned this thing. This was not another paycheck movie. This was cute. It was funny. I cried. I loved the the, the dynamic between him and Superman, especially when they're when they're a baby. The first cute thing you see in this movie is Crypto as a puppy. That's gonna melt your heart. If you feel nothing from that, there's a problem. But I think the movie does well for a DC movie that was for kids. It's a lot better than Teen Titans Go to the Movies. I can say that with, without any question. That movie worked. That movie I only liked some of it. There were some jokes in that word that were way too long. Here, the jokes are rapid fire. They come at you like they don't drag out for five minutes, like a Seltzer and Freeberg movie. And it was it wasn't too long. And look, I'm a DC fan. I don't hate them. Gal would have been better though as Wonder Woman than freaking Jamila. Jamila can't act. I said that from the very moment that I saw her. Binto should never play Wonder Woman because she doesn't have a British accent. Or say the, she says the word saved like this. Saved. I rest my case. But if you're a kid, if you have kids, this is worth it for them. If you want to smile, if you want to see a DC movie that's not somber all the time, this is definitely for you. If you want to see a movie, if you have pets and you love them like I do, watch this movie. It's not going to kill you. It's cute. And the film, it didn't overstay its welcome. 
and the, the film, the animation and the characters got me invested. A bunch of animals got me invested because I love animals since I was a kid. I went to a lot of petting zoos when I was a kid and zoos and aquariums. So that's just me. I agree with the critics. I liked it. Although it's never quite soars, DC Liga Super Pets is more than a satisfying diversion for families in search of four-legged fun. Yeah, and it's better than that other dog movie that came out this year. The Paws of Fury, that was forgettable. This was very cute, and I would love to see more. They did a good job with this. I thought it was going to suck. But like the Batman, it surprised me. Not top 10 best of the year, but at least an honorable mention. That's all. Take that for what you will. That's what I feel. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one.